Meantime, rooftop bars and entertainment areas could become more commonplace in downtown Corpus Christi now that the first business has applied for and received a rooftop activation incentive. Brian Burns joins us now to tell us more about that. Brian. Well, Rudy, this program approved by City Council last year uses tax money from businesses in the downtown area to offer incentives for improvements to local bars, restaurants and hotels. The first business to receive the grant of up to half a million dollars will be the Holiday Inn Express. That's this building being built directly behind the Emerald Beach Hotel on Shoreline. Tax Increment Reinvestment Zone number three board chair Mike Pusley says looking at downtown from any of the gateway streets can be a little disappointing. If you're driving down the hill in Corpus Christi and you look at some of those rooftops, some of them uh, are uh, less than desirable. So uh, and there'd been a lot of requests by uh, some of the restaurants and hotels about dressing up their rooftops, taking advantage of our downtown uh, view. Pusley says they will keep offering the grants as long as there are business tax funds available. Downtown Management District Director Alyssa Barrera Mason says they've heard from many businesses. We think the Holiday Inn Express is just going to be one of many new rooftop activations. We're targeting 10 projects over the course of the next few years. And so we're excited. We've seen a lot of interest. We're in conversations with four downtown properties already um, about potentially moving projects forward. So you should see a lot of activity. From the amount of new construction in the business district, there may soon be more businesses ready to create a rooftop escape. Now, each business has to qualify for the help and must first be approved by the TERS 3 board as well as City Council. Leslie.